tutorial I am going to explain level scripts. Um, I have my list of level scripts here. I have a formatted version of the main level script in here. Um, you can see if I go to this I will be at the 1B comment. It's the same as here, this is just formatted nicely. So let's start with the 00, zero comment. This one is used to load stuff and jump somewhere in the level script. For example, this loads um, into bank E. See uh, segment to load in. From start is this. So if I went to here and added this offset, this means it jumps to bank E offset 264. So I can just take the start of this at 264 and then we will be at where the level script starts right here <coughs> if you import over this with the level importer the level importer will put the level somewhere else let me show you what happens just any random model um, yeah, Boba Battlefield is good. Copy this offset, go there. You will see that the importer has moved this to another location. Um, if we look into the ROM map, we see this is the space the level importer has reserved for Boba's Battlefield custom levels. That means the importer just wrote a completely new level into the ROM. It did not replace Bobom's Battlefield, only the pointer to Bobom's Battlefield. And this one loads into bank 1.9 instead, and then jumps to bank 1.9 offset 1c. So this level script would start at 18E001c, right here. And then this whole thing is the level script. Um, we have the 01 command, which is basically the same thing. We have the 02 comment, this just ends the level script. For example, if we now scroll down, we would see the 0204 here. The 04 is just a length byte. The 00, zero comment also had that. Um, yeah, and after that, it's just the 01 padding. This just delays the level script. I don't know what exactly this is for. This is a go to comment. For example, what we could do is we could remove this and use the 05. This one is 8 bytes long, so we have to use the 08 length byte. Um, two bytes that are pointless. Let's say if we wanted to make a jump into the outside castle, so instead of Bob and Battlefield, we would just have two outside castles in the ROM. We could jump to here. Let's see where is this loaded into. Into bank 15. So, bank 15, offset 04E4. Now it would jump to this offset. And yeah, instead of Bobon's Battlefield, we would land in outside castle. This is the same principle as the 05 comment, only that you can jump backwards afterwards. For example, you have these ROM banks in uh, the importer. Um, Rambanks, yeah. You can select a bunch of levels here, a uh, bunch of banks, and this obviously has to load the same thing every time in every level. So what the game did, it jumped somewhere with the 06 comment. Let's see, where is it? Here are the 06 comments. These jumps into bank 150660 see that's here and then with the 07 comment it jumps back so this is where it uh, defines the model IDs we will go over that later but this is basically the thing that gets executed every time if you select a bank and the same happens for bank C and bank E that you can select here I think this one was for bank C or bank E, I'm not sure doesn't actually matter. Um, we won't need these. This one is kind of interesting, but you probably won't need to modify this. This is a bunch of conditional jumps. For example, this one. This is the level ID. Um, this part. No, 
with this part. Um, loads from here, level ID 9 is Bobomb's Battlefield. So if the level ID equals 9, it will jump to 150458 in this RAM bank. And that is exactly here. So that's how we got there before. Um, we don't need these. This is a padding command basically. The object importer puts a bunch of these in here. So it could theoretically add more of these two two comments if it needed those for the RAM banks. Um, you can do that too if you need more model IDs. You won't need these until you ASM code. Um, these are not really useful to us either. A bunch of them are missing because I haven't figured out what they do. Or rather no one has figured out what they do. Then we have the loading comments. Um, these are at the beginning of almost every level script, like you see here. Wait, this is a battle example. Um, you see here, it first needs to start the loading sequence with the 1B comment, right this one. And then it puts a bunch of 1.7 comments. This is one, and this is one, and this is one. They always have length 0C, so that's why I can so easily figure out how long they are. Um, the 1A is for Mu0 data, 1A is for Mu0 data. You probably won't be using Mu0 data because we have so much space in ROM anyway. Um, you can, for example, repoint the 1C comments. Let's see, let's search the one for Bank 8. Bank 8 is the one that has Goombas and that kind of stuff. Uh, this one. We could just copy the whole data in this range. This is the range that gets loaded into RAM. Um, and put it elsewhere in the ROM. So then we would have the whole textures of the Goombas twice in the ROM. And then we could uh, change the pointer of this to the new location we put it in. And change the textures over there. And we would have two different Goombas in our ROM. And you can do the same principle to load Mario and Luigi separately. This is what I did in Super Mario Bros. 3D. For example, you can do anything with this. I I'm just saying this is one of the most interesting comments to experiment with. Um, yeah, this is, this one is at the end of the RAM loading sequence. After all, this last 1C comment is the 1D, e, and then there are no more 1C comments, uh, 17 comments, or 1A comments, or 1A comments. Um, I don't know what exactly this does. It's that area. This is very important for area importing. Um, I will go off over this after I've experienced X playing some other stuff. This is just the end of the 1F comment. This is basically open to subsection. This one points to a display list. Um, I will be explaining this playlist in the next tutorial. You can use this one to import custom models. Uh, we don't have any 2-1 comments in this. Um, the 2-2 two -two comment is similar to the 2-1 comment. This one points to the geo layout, and geo layouts point to this playlist. But with geo layouts you can do more stuff, for example animations, or shadows, or different scalings. Um, the 2-4 comment places an object in the level. Uh, for example, you know after the object importer always after the object importer imported, it always puts these five objects. Um, the Mario start object, uh, the fading warp, and then another fading warp. Uh, I can recognize that these are fading warps because of this number. This points to bank 1.3, which is the bank of the behavior scripts. And then behavior 075c, and if we look into our behavior scripts file, go to 075c. We can see that this is the fading warp. Um, these other things, such as a few other parameters, position, uh, rotation, the amount of star, uh, the act you need for this level, you can also, if you want it for some odd reason, just copy them, and then now you have five Mario. Okay, ten Mario starts. <coughs> you can also um, copy this from one one from. From one ROM to another, 
if for example you wanted to copy object placement because you killed your ROM for whatever reason. Three vipers, I don't actually want ten Mario starts. This loads the Mario object. Um, this is right after the 1D comment, this one. You could probably point this to 2A48 and then Mario would just be a non-solid nothing, basically like Super Butterfly 64 if you know that hack. You won't be able to move. Um, this one is used to connect the warps. These are usually after the 2-4 comments in the important levels. Um, this is the F0 and the F1 warp. This is the death warp and the success warp. If you know how warps in Mario 64 work, you will probably recognize most of these numbers. Like this is the starting warp, 0A warp. The third byte stands for the warp ID. It says uh, level 09, which, as we said earlier, is Bobon's battlefield. Yeah. At the beginning, it always adds only warps to Bob Bomb's Battlefield. Uh, you probably know that if you faked Mario 64 before. We don't need this one, no one uses paintings, it's quite a pain to do that. Don't need this one, we have extend boundaries. This one is useful, um, you know, this option, initial position, this is what this comment sets. But this one doesn't allow you to set the rotation. But the command actually usually has a rotation assigned to it. So you could just change the rotation in here. Which one is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, these two bytes, yeah. The importer usually sets it to something really weird. You can just set this to 0 and then Mario will look um, forward. Or backwards. Or I'm not sure if this is the left or the right, but you will look into a different direction. You can just put this to the proper value so the player is not annoyed by Mario looking into the wrong direction when he first enters the level. This is only important to the first level you open your room, or if you enter the level through the level select menu, the debug menu. The 2A comment sets the collision, it points to the collision, this one. This is where the collision is pretty early in this run bank because the level I imported was so small. And we need this for areas later. And then we don't need this one. Don't need this one. We can change this one. This basically changes the terrain type, one of these. This is um, parameter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For example, if we wanted centering, we would have to use 3. Uh, we have to... which one is it? At 3 and 4 always 0? No, that's wrong. My documents are wrong on this. Too sure. However, if you change this comment, you have different terrain. Um, this is pointless. I've never really used this. I'm actually not sure what this exactly does. Same with the 3-4. The 3-6 comment sets the music. Wait, 6 is the sequence number, so where's the 3-6 comment? Oh, here. It was the one I was right over. So here you could set the sequence, like this would be the file select music. Um, this is basically the same, but it doesn't have the extra parameters. I don't think it really matters for our purposes what we use. This one's only used for the original game, you don't need this at all. This one is used to add uh, repulsion or suction in water to your level. For example, in Dia Dia Docks, the one exit used something like this, or the metal cap stage I think also used something like this, where the water dragged you out of the waterfall. Waterfall. You have to find these positions out manually with Toadstool. So now, after we know what most of these comments do, we can do something with the 1F comment. For example, let's rewrite all these changes. Um, if you wanted the second area, 
uh, we see there's a bunch of stuff between the two areas, between the 2-0 comment and the 1-f comment, this whole stuff. Um, if I make an area, I usually take the 1-f comment, put it after the level script. Now I want this to be in area 2, and the geo layout has to be somewhere else. We have a bunch of space here. This is where the old geo layout was, the one for area 1. I would have enough space here. So let's just pretend I have my geo layout at 1600 in bank 19. Um, I've shown before bank 19 is at 18E0000. So if we add 1600 to 18E0000, we are at 18E1600, which is exactly here. This RAM bank. Um, after that, we need a bunch of 2 4 comments, so we have even the start warp and what else we want in our area. Let's just pretend we know how many we want and we want this many. Then we still need uh, the death warp and the success warp, and we need a starting warp, and let's just take a bunch of other warps. We put them here. Um, we can take all these comments. We need them too, because they are still before the 2-0 comment. Put them here. Um, we need to remember where this is, because in the custom importer we have to write a pointer to this in here. I will say more about it later. Um, the music we want, we can put here, let's say we want the file select music this time and some other area collision, like sand or whatever. Now after we've done all this area thing, we can just control X and put it right after the 2-0 comment, right here. Now we would have added a second area. It's that simple actually. Um, yeah, we see our 2e comment is here, so our collision pointer for this would be 11c8. Uh, yeah, this number. Um, the rest I will explain in another tutorial how you add the geo layout and that kind of stuff. That will be next one probably. So, until then.